So, I mean, the, the tentacle might be good, but you can't swap trinkets in a fight. I think we have the best setup. I think we're just going to go for this. Two keys. We have a little bit more food because we, we finally can this week. Okay, I feel good about this. I employed a crew of particularly unsavory mariners who for a time sailed the Four Corners at my behest, retrieving many valuable artifacts, relics, and rare texts. Predictably, they increased their tariffs to counter my intense stipulations of secrecy. Such resources had long been exhausted, of course, and so I prepared an alternative payment. God, my ancestor was so fucked up. Did they name it any of the new games? The poor devils. Trend How do you manage to go through a dungeon without torches? There's a lot of there's a lot of different enemy. ways, Fabby. A huge benefit is the, the moon slash dark gear. It raises your damage and accuracy and stuff when the torch is low. And I actually think that the moon stuff in general is better than the sun ring or you know the sun cloak. But that's because it's at low light instead of high light. No, MFG, I don't have any on the top of my head, sorry. Secrets I actually stop the party a lot of the times the to uh, tenebrous corners of this place. to give me these butt buffs every time I'm fighting something. What's the chance to bleed this? It's actually decent. I'm not really too concerned about that thing. No, I'd rather kill these. They do a lot of damage. What's up, Bugsy? It's called Darkest Dungeon. It's a really cool game. All right, let's run Hello. It's dead, right? Ah, oh, it's a one health. Damn. Well. Confidence it's a crit kill. <laughs> what a waste of my turn. Well, at least we, we still blooded this guy. At least these guys do so much damage. I hate them. You need to try to keep our stress low going into this boss. I think it's dead, right? It bleeds. It is. Slowly, gently. He's got the most. Forty-five hundred. What is up? <laughs> Stop him if we can. Yeah, it's a, it's an awesome game. It's an RPG. Very difficult, a lot of fun. Great, great style, great sound. Quite fun. The fiend falls. Right, the, we know where the boss is exactly. Right there. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, five, six, seven, eight. Now it's good to count because you almost always can tell, but sometimes I've uh, been mistaken and gone the wrong way. It's, gonna it's fine. What, what quirk does he have? Yeah, my ancestor. I like killed himself, and I guess he talks to us. That's good. I'll take that. Yeah, he's like narrating. Another Marin He's kind of an asshole, actually. Another um, if you learn about all the shit he did, like all the people he killed and like cursed and just in general did a lot of terrible stuff. Why did he? T oh, okay. So Blue Domania is why he touched that. Who is them? Uh, they both have two. Ruminate or nervous? Okay, we'll do her. He has no life, he has no roll. <laughs> yeah, he is dead. Got rid of a. Uh, some mummify him. We got rid of a cheap perk that would have been easy to remove, but whatever, we'll take what we can get. What do they focus there? The Jester has a good chance to kill one of these. Well, it's dead out. It, it most gets to take one. This is its only turn right here. Right there. Wait, that disease me? The shocker one did? What is vampiric spirits? Debuff resist. Oh, that's annoying. Right before the boss. Come on, that would crit. I think I would have killed it anyway, though. Shocker. Death waits. How did this be, bro? Slightest lapse in concentration. You get stunned now. So, do we stun them back? Or do we kill this one? I think I just killed this thing. There we go! <laughs> the one shot. What's his role beginning? The caretaker of death? Yeah, he did a lot of. A, a lot of the reason is all these monsters and, like, crazy creatures is because of stuff that he did. Like, his investigation into necromancy and all this crazy shit he was doing. Alright, hello. Cursed a lot of people, or. You know, 
I messed them up. Please don't disease me anymore. Please don't disease me anymore. Thank you. I'd like to beat this boss. Kill it. <laughs> 23 damage. Slap me if he was dead, yeah. Sound like a total pansy he killed himself instead of dealing with what he had done. Uh, dealing with what he had done. Just bleed this out. Yeah, not that much. We need to start stress healing now. 61. We, we need to come into this battle with low stress. Has everyone finished the actual game yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah they have. The game's been vegan. Invent a time machine and prevent the ancestor's birth. <laughs> not a terrible idea. What's your character's names and roles? Um, well, like, she's like a barbarian. This guy is, he's an ape abomination. He's like, he turns into a monster himself. He inflicts stress to your other party members so they can freak out and become paranoid and not react the way you want them to. Because um, if they get too stressed out, they react that way. Um, but he's, he's quite strong. Uh, he's like, he keeps the party calm. He's like a bard, he's a jester. He keeps the party calm, he has a bit of damage. He can bleed enemies out and that does damage over time. And the back guy is like a, a healer, but he's an unreliable healer who also can do a bit of damage. He's called an occultist. There's another healer that's called the Vestal. They're like a nun, and they're they're more reliable. Although this, this guy has a really high amount of healing he can do, but it's 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 random. Good for four, GG. How can you help? I would kick his ass. All right, heal up. Nice, nice. If you do that to me. 44. Yeah, it's a. Uh, there, there's a lot of different classes. I think there's 10 now. There are 10 classes. You can name them whatever you want. Um, I'm naming them after viewers. It's named after Wax Murderer. She's named after CP. He's in chat right now. Named after Extract. And Glow Flies was a viewer I had yesterday. Da! The chain whip. Oh, rip. I was trying to stun him, I know. I misclicked. I clicked 4 instead of 3, and 4 was not available because it's Iron Swan, I only hits the enemy backline. Could camp now, definitely not going to. Oh, wait, there's a, an object in there I've never touched. What is this? You guys emits a marvelous aura. I'm guessing a buff. Oh, it relieves stress. I wish I had known that. I didn't know what it did. Best classes, you think? It, it really depends on what dungeon you're running and what your setup is. My, like, outright, my favorites so far though have been it's between arbalest and grave robber and they're backline so sadly it's it's hard to run them both um at least i, I wouldn't think it'd be smart you can but it's between arbalest and grave robber anyway i don't even want to com cool, <laughs> i don't want to complete this way i wanted to kick the ancestor's ass yeah probably not i like him <laughs> i like the narrator's voice i don't like the ancestor or anything he did <laughs> Vestal, yeah. Too bad you can't put Vestal with Abomination. That would actually, like, if I, if there were no rules and I could build a, a Shambler killing team, it would be Vestal, A Bomb second, probably like Hellion or Bounty Hunter first. But sadly, you can't put Vestal with A Bomb because she's religious and he's a monster. You can't put them together. Oh yeah, back back to my favorite classes though. Um, the reason it's between for me, um, the reason it's between Grey Robber and. Arbalest? The Arbalest is such a tanky, reliable backliner. Like, my Arbalest has like 65 health as well as natural protection that I've locked in. That she It's, it's like a quirk that she can't get rid of anymore. It, it's stuck on her. So she naturally takes less damage and has a ton of health as well as doing some of the highest damage in my team. You know, when she was critting big creatures, she was doing like 50 damage as well as the fact that she also could heal a small amount herself. This is a really reliable character for trying to do a deathless playthrough like I am. And the, um... I don't want to get rid of here. I guess we'll focus on one person, or do we spread, spread the love? I'm going to go with her. And the reason I love Grey Robber is Grey Robber just does so much damage. She's like, she's fast, so she goes first, usually. And she she consistently was one-shotting enemies. I wish I had brought more. Maybe I'll get more. I'll leave it alone for now. Aw, uh, bye, Bugsy. Good night. But the, um... The Grey Robber has like some of the highest crit chance and good base damage now. She didn't used to. She used to do very little damage. Now she's tons of damage. And if she crits, she like one shots backliners before they get to go typically. It was, it's so nice. Like I said, I wish I could figure out a team to run them both. But as of yet, I haven't thought of one that's too good. If you run the Arbalest as your main healer, you could run a Grey Robber. But it's, 
It's like, I I'm not sure what dungeon you'd get away with that in. Like the Arbalest being your main healer. Because she doesn't heal very much. Although, it, it, the more you heal with her, the more they start receiving. So, I, I think we need to focus the Madman here. Thank you for the follow, Piper 101. -on -one. Go for him. Oh, yes! Beautiful crit. Good job. Great Viper can easily get 30 plus dodge. Always axe first to buff the base damage is awesome, yeah. Great Viper is so, so, so reliable. Yeah, it, it is a woman. <laughs> What's up, Dr. Kenning? Okay, the Madman, he's at very low health. I think we need to, I'm gonna go for this, actually. Put a kind of a slap. Ah, speed fishing. We're gonna stress down in a second and our health back up. Good dodge. Who's the most dangerous here? Well, we can stun this guy, or we can stun this guy. Let me stun this guy. Boom. Nice crit. Sexy, there's some stress relief. We can also still camp, I forgot about that. We have not camped yet. So we can do that before the boss. Get some stress and health. We'll stress down health up. Oh, beautiful. That's some stress heal and her, her back to full health at the same time. I start believing this guy out, maybe. Oh, or not. He does have easy to leave resist, I guess. Damn. Having trouble here. Stun him. It'll it'll get rid of the protection on this guy, and this guy won't take his turn. I've not been transforming in months, because I'm trying to get the stress low before we go into this battle. When we are doing this fight, I'm gonna have him transform. Heal yourself. When we're at the boss, I'll have him transform. Let him run wild and free. What is more worthwhile? I think lowering some stress first. Good, good, good. 13. And Beast Bile, maybe. Guy has so much protection. 75 right now. Come on now, really? Nine damage, like, breaks my character. Oh, good. <laughs> the crit back, the return crits. Please don't crit me, too. Please don't also crit me, thank you. Alright, that was annoying, but we'll, we'll make do. Stress seal, lower that. The one I'm freaking out. Or, I, yeah, I could do this instead, too. Stress heal even more, get some health back. Alright, just this one guy, but we need to start killing him or we're gonna get the wasting time. Good job. What you got, what you got? Octocestus. Oh, can't touch this. Alright, get right there. 46 on this guy. If you get a hero pass successful test, you can have immunity on the boss. You're about to face the drown ability. You get a hero to pass successful. So, so you mean the like if they become courageous? Successful test. Hmm. Interesting. I don't I don't have the tentacle with me, but that's that's nice. No, that's that's something interesting. I don't think I would have figured out. But yeah, in, in general, I don't want any uh, tips or spoilers. But that's that's kind of different. Huh. Can't really use that info this run, sadly. If you're talking about where they become like heroic or you know courageous, if if they react virtuously, I can't really set that up this time. But that is that is good to know. I think that's something you would figure out. I brought the tentacle. I, I did I did last dungeon, but not this one. I think we got a pretty good team for killing this guy anyway, though. Or guys, the crew, the ability. To become heroic, yeah. I, I need to bring the tentacle to do that, but I did not know. Huh. Interesting. You just backtrack a ton and set it up like that. <laughs> Alright. Got room for it all. No shambler, thank god. Oh, nice. Although this, this team would deal with the shambler alright, like reasonably well. Alright, kill this little biatch. Is it dead? If it bleeds, it's dead, right? No, not quite. Let's hide crit chance to the same. Good stress heals. Done that one. Try and one shot together with the Hellion. 
Aww. Even without critics, she could have done that, but she didn't manage to. Don't believe me, bro. Oh, damn. Raised the stress damage received. Ah, oh, weird. <laughs> Is he dead? Oh, no, he's at two health. It's just like the other guy, weird. Better kill this guy, because this guy would die, guaranteed, in two turns. Oh, he's dead now. In two turns, they would have died. Uh, so, camp in this room for the boss. Remind yourself There's actually the really close to level 5 weapons slow and being unlocked. Alright. Only fought the level 1 uh, Sodden crew so far. Don't know what the, this one is going to do, if anything different. Check if that gave me like a secret room revealed. No, oh, just looking backwards though. Alright, we're almost there. This boss was actually interesting. Um, it wasn't incredibly difficult, but let's see what happens. Get to camp pretty soon. Onward. Eat. From Battle of Curio. <laughs> it looks like a boss battle to me. I don't know what you're talking about, game. Huddled together. Furtive and vulnerable. Nice. No one's really Rats stressed. Okay, so all the damage buffs then. I might even do Psych Up. I don't usually do Psych Up, but I think I'm about to. Uh, what else could we do? I might want to do Unspeakable Commune. Beyond that, okay, quickening. What do we got? Oh, I just and no, I click. Oh, I misclicked. Damn. Still got some buffs. I didn't. I, <laughs> only the strength to follow. There wasn't a window there yet when I clicked. Why did I click up there? I, I don't know. It's like I like clicking the background. I'm so dumb. Uh, anyway, um, I clicked the sleep when there wasn't a, a pop up there. Damn it. Alrighty. Whoops. <laughs> Anything else? I could have buffed so much more. Maybe you find a bass curio near boss, give it a try. I found it by accident. My hound master said, I will not join your crew. <laughs> Interesting. Well, it's it's too late now. We gotta go in. Just wanna do something else. Nice rest, I know. <laughs> well, we still got the crit chance for the Hellion. We still got the speed for this guy, so that's still pretty good. So I'm seeing if there's any items we wanna use, and we don't. Let's do it! Alright, how much health is that? 150. All hands on deck. It's like spawns one, right? This is how he spawns one. Oh, it also messes up my order. Uh, that's not bad. We can just move him back. 21 health. That's still very little. So, my strat here is going to be raking over and over and over to the point that this one I did on the, um... I did this against... The Shambler. I raked over and over because it buff like, when you use rake, it buffs your damage. And then at one point, I was one shot in the frontline things in the Shambler fight, and then it, the Hellion was getting free damage on the the boss. Right now, it has the protection that he doesn't. Yeah, the Torchless is definitely viable. It, it, the main thing I'm doing that a lot of people you watch probably aren't is is locking in good quirks. It's really expensive, but you get more loot. It's making my characters a lot more reliably powerful. What do we want to do here? It's unholy, it's not Eldritch. We could weaken and curse it. Uh, we don't need to heal. We could do damage. 5 to 10, I'm gonna do the damage. Probably be able to rush it down before too long. Avoiding clutch. Is that a bleed move? Okay. Eve 2, okay. So we're gonna have him rake over and over. This guy loses his protection now. I think this is the best way to do it, I'm not sure. It's a stress move. We dodged it, nice. Alright. We do a bit of damage here to this. Not a ton, no. Don't need to heal yet. That's so much stress. We do have a Jester, but I don't want to use him for that. Oh, you see? You see? <laughs> That's how I was planning to do this fight. We could stun this guy really. Oh, I misclicked. I meant to click four. Or three, and I clicked four, and you can't do. Um, Ow. You can't do Iron Swan if there is no fourth anime. Did we buff here or did we start lowering her stress? It's pretty high. And then we go for damage. Then we go for damage because, oh my god, we're not bleeding him, but if we were, mutiny. It's like a debuff, right? Here, he's just a nice. All hands on deck. Oh, that moves him up. Oh, that was the plan then, huh? Oh, okay.
You are really low health. That's actually very bad. Stun? Yeah, go for it. Oh, I didn't get it, but I got the boss. What a buff our speeds. So hopefully the healer can go first and not fucking die here. That would be nice. You can do, okay. He can still take his turn. <laughs> noise he makes. Drink with the dead. Dodge it! Dodge! Ah. It's becoming a little more difficult than I thought it'd be. I forgot about the moving the order thing. Almost one shot, not quite. There we go, you got it. Hee 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 hee! Alright, heal yourself, please. Oh my god, no! <laughs> okay. Dude. Stun him. There's a chance to stun. She's debuffed anyway, right? Oh, we can bleed. I'm able to bleed him for some reason. I want to stun. Dungeon is too dark. New kid sees keyboard. Of course. We are actually pretty speed. Well, how are you going first? I was just prepping for that move. Good damage. Executed. Stress heal there. That was a low. Oh yeah, he's got protection now, right? All right. He's at least stressed. I'm gonna let him. I'm gonna let him do that to him. Okay, good deal. Drink with the dead. He's gonna hit 100 here, him. Hopefully, we'll still able to win. Oh, it became Stalwart! Holy shit! I've never seen the A bomb become like virtuous. That's awesome. It's not worth the one that he lowers his own stress, right? That's really good. Because he's, he's in beast mode still, mutant air. Debuff. No. It's alright, man. We're gonna one shot this thing, hopefully. Watch out! Oh! How many buff stacks of the buff do I have? He needs to heal himself again, sadly. I'd I love for him to do something else. Just keep taking the stress here. Alright, get on my face. Warding, I'm just gonna go for him. <laughs> the crit too, it's alright, it's alright, he's still war. Come on! There we go, he's half dead. Place him at first row? Yeah, I, I'm gonna try. He, he can still move me though, that's the thing. Good luck with that. I didn't need to buff me down. I'm moving him to the front, I'm gonna move him back. Oh, he didn't, oh, he resisted the move, okay, nice. Oh, he's in the very front. How much bleed is he taking? 10 damage per round. Can we just kill him here now? Kill yourself? The crit heal. This thing lowers the stress. Mutiny. Some debuff skill. A little more difficult than I thought it'd be, but we got this. Alright, let's see how this goes. Your <laughs> the sound. <laughs> Your <laughs> it works. That's pretty cool. He's dead now. GG nerd. <laughs> Fucking a bomb. <laughs> Foolish horrors. Nice. Brought low and driven into the mud. Drop the portraits. <laughs> nice. I think we're gonna leave right. Yeah, it'd be too much backtracking. All right then. Did someone host you? Uh, Housey did, and you. I've also, I just had new people uh, moving in. I, I don't actually see my viewer number, so <laughs> I'm guessing you're surprised for some reason. Just been playing Darkest Dungeon, man. All right, we got the. We have one level three boss left. That's it. Alright, I appreciate that, Fabi is a panda. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good day. Or night. Whatever it may be. Tetanus. Alright, she had Oh yeah, he also got a disease too. Probably wanna get rid of that. De definitely tetanus.